Hey, welcome back guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Today, let's take a look at the new features in Pat Menu 2.3. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Real quick before we get going today, I've got to give a shout out to these guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. So I've added a few new features to Pat Menu that I wanted to introduce to you guys today. Uh, in order to upgrade your current version to this one, you can use the build a -Pie update tool. Let's go ahead and start taking a look. The first one I want to show you guys is this new button right down here at the bottom called Quick Stats. Let's go ahead and click on that. And that's just going to load up a bit of information about what's going on with the system right now. So it tells you who is logged in uh, by call sign, gives you the current grid square, uh, gives you the current RDOP speed that you have set. So if you've moved it up or down, it's quick and easy to see it here without having to dive into the menu or deep dive into the menu. Same is true with RDOP PTT, whether that's true or false. The next one down is a new feature called Listen Modes. Currently, the system is not listening for incoming connections, and we'll get uh, to more of that in just a few minutes. Next down is Rig Control, and finally, we have the port that Pat is currently listening on. So, just a few quick stats that you can take a look at without having to deep dive into the menus. So the next thing I want to cover with you guys is listen modes. And listen modes are used when you want to do a peer-to-peer -peer connection using Pat Menu, or using Pat Winlink rather. Now I've done a video on peer-to-peer -peer connections. I'll leave a link to that down in the description below. But to set up the listen modes, used to we had to go into the command line and to the PAT configure file and modify things there. I've made that quite a bit easier now. You can find that by clicking on Manage PAT WinLink, and then you'll see a new option here that says Set Listen Mode. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that, and it pulls up this window here. Now you'll notice right at the very top, it tells you that uh, currently it is not listening for incoming connections. Just for this video here, I'm going to tell it to listen over Telnet. So I'm going to put a check mark there and go ahead and click the set listen mode. Now, if you prefer, you could have it listen uh, on AX25 or RDOP or all three of those at the same time. Depending on which mode you have it listening in, you would also need the appropriate modem configured and running. So if you chose AX25, you would need uh, the packet modem running as well. But for now, let's just go ahead and choose Telnet and click Set Listen Mode. It'll come back in just a second and it'll tell you that the listen mode has been set to Telnet. Now we can see this a couple of different ways. If we go back into the Set Listen Mode, you'll see that now currently right up here at the top, it tells you that it's listening on Telnet. I'm going to go ahead and return to the main menu, but I want to open up the PAT mailbox for one quick second here and show you that right up here at the top, right by the inbox or between inbox and your call, it will tell you what modes you're currently listening on. Now, if I go ahead and pull back up the set listen mode window by clicking the button again, this time, I'm just going to tell it to stop listening. This will tell it to stop listening on anything that it is currently listening on. Once you click that, you'll get a window that pops up telling you you're no longer listening for incoming connections. So I'm just going to say OK. And if you look back here again uh, in the PAT mailbox window, you'll see that it no longer shows that we're listening for any incoming connections. Now, the last new feature I want to show you is Manage the Inbox. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Now, it's got uh, three new features in here. Backup and Restore was already built into Pat Menu, 
but the new ones are archive, delete archives, and delete sent email. So the first thing I want to do today is I do want to go ahead and back up my email. So I'll click the backup email button. I'm just going to choose desktop for the directory to back the email up to. And I'll go ahead and click the backup emails button. It'll give you a window that tells you the backup is complete and you're able to see the backup folder that's been created on the desktop. So I'll go ahead and choose OK there. The next thing I want to do, I tell you what, let's take a look at my inbox real quick. And you'll see that the inbox is full of uh, different emails. I don't have anything in the outbox. My sent folder is also pretty full. In fact, it's very full, scanning down through there. And then in my archi archive directory, I have quite a few emails as well. So let's go back to the inbox and then let's open up the pat menu window again. The first thing I want to do is click archive all email. So I'll go ahead and click on that and it will give you a window here that tells you that all of your email has been archived. If we take a look at the inbox folder in pat you will see that all of the emails have been moved from the inbox to the archive directory. And this just saves you from having to click on each individual email and then choosing to archive it. This gives you a way to do all of them at one time. But let's take that a step further. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click delete the archived email. And what this is going to do is actually delete the emails from the system. So everything that's in your archive folder is going to be completely wiped out. So we'll just click that. It tells you uh, or it gives you this pop-up window that says, are you sure you want to delete everything in your archive folder? This can't be undone. I'm going to go ahead and click yes, I'm sure. And that removes everything from my archive folder. Now, the last thing we need to do is go ahead and delete the sent emails. So I'll go ahead and click on delete sent emails. Just like before, you're going to get a warning that uh, tells you this can't be undone. Again, I'm sure. And we'll go ahead and click OK now that it's telling me everything is deleted. So taking a look at the Pat mailbox, you'll see I have nothing in the archive. I have nothing in the sent folder. And I have nothing in my inbox. So that has completely cleaned up everything in my inbox. Now, just for the sake of the video again, I'm going to choose Restore Emails. So we'll click on that. And now we've got to go locate the directory that we created a minute ago. So I'm going to click on this Restore Directory, and I'll click Other. Let's go ahead and move over to the desktop, and let's choose that folder that we created just a couple of minutes ago. We'll go ahead and click Open, and then we'll choose Restore Emails. You'll get a pop-up window like this telling you that the restore has been completed. Now, in your PAT mailbox, you may need to click Refresh before your emails show up again. So I'll go ahead and click Refresh now, and you can see that the email has been completely restored. So there's a look at all of the new features in PAT Menu 2.3. If you guys found this video helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.